Israel War Cabinet member Benny Gantz has called for national elections in September. And this, while Israeli Prime Minister Ben Netanyahu's government continues to face pressure at home and abroad over the war in Gaza. Well, Israel's unrelenting air, ground and sea assault has killed more than 32,000 Palestinians and led to a humanitarian catastrophe. Gantz said he believed an agreed election date would allow Israeli society to renew its contract with its leadership. Thousands of Israelis have taken to the streets in recent days demanding new elections. Many have criticized Netanyahu and expressed anger at his government's handling of the 134 Israeli hostages still held in Gaza six months into the war. I believe that uh, the Israeli society needs to renew its contract with its leadership. And I think the only way to do it and still maintaining the national effort in fighting Hamas and terrorist group and other security challenges is by having an agreed election date that we have to discuss when and if. Uh, and I hope that uh, my political partners and friends, and maybe some rivals as well, uh, will agree to it because I think it serves all the country and all its sectors in the same time. Netanyahu, Israel's longest serving prime minister, has repeatedly ruled out early elections, which opinion polls suggest that he would lose. Netanyahu says going to the polls in the middle of a war would only reward Hamas. His Likud party stated that Gantz must stop engaging in petty politics during the ongoing war. Netanyahu has pledged to bring the hostages home as well as destroy Hamas. It is unclear how Israel would be able to do so, and some experts doubt that this is even possible. Gantz, a former army general, joined Netanyahu's government in the early days of the war as a gesture of political unity during the crisis. This happened in October last year. Polls suggest that his party would come top in any election, and he would be the favorite to take over as as Premier, in a sign of the strain between Washington and Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu, whose government, Vice President of the U.S. Kamala Harris, hosted Benny Gantz in March. Well, surveys indicate most Israelis disapprove of Netanyahu's leadership. Since the Hamas-led attack on communities in southern Israel on October 7th, that killed 1,200 Israelis. If left unchanged, the next vote for parliament is set for October 27, 2026, as per Israel's Central Elections Committee.